This warehouse destroyed early Monday in a Russian airstrike on Odessa. All of the humanitarian aid inside the 1,000 square meter building gone too. The Red Cross says no workers were inside the facility at the time, but given the destruction, some projects in the area have been suspended. A series of Russian strikes rained down on several regions, including Odessa, Kharkiv, Mykolaiv, Kherson, and Kyiv. At one point Monday, the entire country was blanketed by an attack alert warning. I heard a loud explosion, says this 76-year-old woman. When asked what she did, she replied, there was nothing I could do. I sheltered in the corridor behind two walls. Vitaly Klitschko says Russia sent 36 kamikaze drones to the capital, but all were destroyed by the air defense system. Five people was uh, taking injuries, uh, uh, two people right now in uh, hospitals, but nobody is died. It's very important. The attacks come as Ukraine and Europe celebrate victory over Nazi Germany and the end of the Second World War. In Russia, victory celebrations happen on May 9th. The Kremlin had been pushing for success in the East to highlight during their festivities. Last year, Ukrainians were told to take extra care on the 8th and 9th, fearing an onslaught of attacks from Russia. This year, a reversal of roles. Several Russian cities have canceled or scaled back Soviet Victory Day, saying they could be targeted by pro-Ukrainian saboteurs. It's unclear if that is the result of an explosion last week at the Kremlin, which Moscow claims was a Ukrainian attempt on the president's life, or because so many Russian soldiers have been killed and weapons destroyed that a big military parade just isn't possible this year. Crystal Gamansing, Global News, London.